Now, a lot of merchants, brands out there might raise the flag and say, yeah, but there is privacy regulations, there's GDPR, CCPA, and so whatsoever. Now I'm dealing with all this data on my site. Are there any risks involved or how should they deal with these kinds of concerns? Sure, Klaus. If you go to like lemonde.fr, which is like the French newspaper, you know, w w website in the heart of GDPR, you know, uh, you know, country, uh, you know, it, 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 it <laughs> a pop up shows up and it says, hey, we're like, it, we, we're using, uh, you know, marketing trackers, <laughs> cookies, um, you know, uh, the device identifiers, like it, 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 it says everything that, that they're doing and, and you have to click the button that says accept. Uh, and so my point is just to say, um, you know, the antidote for a lot of these uh, regulations, actually all of them, has to do with sufficient dis disclosure. And mm -hmm. I'm not advocating that you not disclose what you're doing with data. Uh, in the case of the Google and Facebook ad pixels, what was so untenable and so devious of Google and Facebook was that when you put the F Facebook ad pixel on your on your website and say you were you were selling like snowboards, that data that that Klaus or Larry visited that snow snowboard company was not only being used to to run your campaigns, but it was being used to power all the other snowboard vendors looking to connect with people. You know, and there's 10 million Google advertisers and 10 million Facebook advertisers, and that was not clearly disclosed. Okay, and so I think the marketers need to understand, like, you know, there's a way to do this that's compliant, like where you're not reselling the data to a network of 10 million people, where you're you're focused on your, you know, just enriching and using the first party data. I think consumers, generally speaking, would prefer to get marketing from companies that they know and like and trust rather than cus that than getting marketing from from co companies that they've never heard of before uh, and and so like i'm absolutely 100 percent for uh you know privacy and and compliance um but like what we're talking about here is at a much like reduced scope by focusing on solely on the use of first party data and then making the requisite disclosures like in your terms of service you, you can even call it out on a pop-up window that sometimes shows up on various sites uh and, and we provide templates on, on on what you should be using uh, like like what, what type of language that you should be using uh, uh but you know major corporations that have lots of lawyers you know have reviewed like our kind of approach and they've you know all, all agree that this is this is legal they're like you know it, it's, it's as long as it's disclosed